welcome to all, all our viewers. Um, we're here to, uh, today at the uh, IPP in Atlanta, Georgia, and we have the honor to uh, have by our side Antonia Taconi. Taconi. Oh, Taconi. <laughs> and um, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to chat with her today. Um, and we invite you, we're happy to have you at the Casa, uh, uh, the nutri Dues International. Um, we're going to discuss a little bit about, first off, uh, Antonia is the, um, the global product. product manager for Perstop. Um, I understand, Antonia, that um, uh, Perstop is a Swedish company. Correct. Yeah. Um, it's fairly old. It's like 140 years. <laughs> it's quite old. Yeah. It's, but it started with specialty chemicals. And tell yeah. me a little bit about how you, your company, the, the history of your company, how did it develop into animal nutrition, which is very interesting. Well, they started as a specialty chemicals uh, company, as innovators. And of course, in, in the production of these uh, chemicals, you have a lot of organic acids that can be used in animal nutrition. So they saw the perfect opportunity to sort of develop into this market and coming up with innovative uh, products. So we exactly. were one of the first companies launching esterified organic acids into the market. Um, and so we are leading in that, in that sector currently. Fantastic. Um, and um, I don't know if you heard, but we've been bought now by the Petronas yeah. Chemical yeah. Group. The Petronas Chemical Group. So now we are part of an even bigger family as such. This is great to hear this because my background, like, like we talked before uh, coming here, um, is, is animal nutrition. So I understand the importance that your company is, is leading the way, is one of the premier solution providers for gut health. Correct. Um, the use of organic acids already has uh, a lot of years yes, in, in animal yeah. nutrition. It's fairly well known. Or there's some paradigm shifts with the use of uh, organic acids. You're mainly focused in monogastrics, poultry and swine. Correct. Correct. Yes. Can you tell our viewers uh, what makes your technology innovative versus what we see out there in the market? Yeah. So. As, as mentioned, we were one of the first company to bring esterified organic acids to the market. We started with butyric acid. We can work now with esterified propionic acid. And one of the latest products we've launched contains the esterified valeric acid, a completely new concept uh, to the market. Valeric acid being a very, very interesting molecule, it is, um, it showing is. a lot of potential um, in humans it's a, it's and now we see it in animals. It's pretty new, right? It's Correct. New, it's it's one of the new acids because people already um, they, they're used to the sorbics, the formics, the, the yes. benzoics. Yeah, that's, um, they are very common. The, the they are already commoditized right. products and right. we are still sort of working more into the speciality part of, of the business. Antonia, are these products, are these free acids or are these uh, no. protected in they some way? They are protected. So it's esterification, meaning that you're actually this short chain fatty acid attaching them to a glycerol. Okay. Meaning okay. that you, you then end up with tributyrins, trivalerins, monobutyrins, monovalerins. I gotcha. Excellent. So those kind of, and, and they are protected for a targeted release in so the small intestine. So we have a, intestine, a small yeah. and we have a, a short release mechanism. Yes. Which makes it more effective. Correct. Obviously. It makes it effective for gut health. So it's not about acidification. They don't act at all as acidifiers because they're going to be released in the intestine where they act more for gut health, gut morphology anti-inflammatory effect and these kind of things. I, I understand where you're coming from because when we started a long time ago in, in organic acids, there was a paradigm that obviously later on we understood that we were incorrect. They were always stating that organic acids, mode of action was by changing pH at the gut oh, level. Oh yeah, no. Now <laughs> we know that that's not true. Correct. It's very difficult to change pH on the gut yeah. level. Yeah, so, I mean, they have all these buffering Mechanisms. Um, mechanism that it's almost impossible and, and actually you don't want the small intestine to be acidic because otherwise you won't have no. the activation of lipases and other exactly. enzymes that are needed there rather than they are yeah. needed there um that that being said is there any new is there a new versions or are you bringing in into the market some complementary products just uh with the organic acids or are you coming out with some other uh new technologies so we are um, using now a combination of different technologies. So we have some products that already contain some phytochemicals, phytogenic compounds, that's, that's, and we're that's looking at innovating that. even more. But into that process, you know, we are um, recently started engaging much more with our clients, with, the, with consultants and influencers in the markets to understand what is really needed. Because, you know, 
acting on a global level, you, you would like to have the perfect solution for everyone, but it's not going to happen. It's not, it's, not, it's not feasible. So you uh, need to look into each single market, see what they need and try to, to find a solution for them. So that's what we're definitely. trying to do now. Now that you bring up the word global, I, g give us a little bit of a background um, where you guys are. Uh, you're, you're basically you're based in, uh, in Sweden. No, we are based in the Netherlands, so the animal nutrition oh, you are. Uh, part is based in the Netherlands. The That's chemical plant The chemical comes. part is Sweden. We okay. are based in the Netherlands. And from there, uh, we this work... This is where you have your manufacturing plant. Correct. And uh, we work all around the world. So we have here in Latin America a branch, a branch in North America. We have a branch in, in Singapore that covers um, uh, APEC. And then, of course, a branch in China to cover just the Chinese market. So we are able to, to provide Excellent. the products all over the world. Now, your involvement in Latin America, um, is this an ongoing uh, market for you where you still have uh, room for growth? Yes, oh, we, we really want to enter this market, understand it much, much better. So we are, we are having an ongoing work with our branch in Latin America, where from a global level, we really try to understand the regional business and how to and deal the with the culture yeah. and the, uh, yes. the logistics of doing business Correct. here. And Antonia, she doesn't want to say anything in Spanish, but <laughs> habla español also. No, so. no hablo español, <laughs> no falo portugués. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. That's why she's the global manager. Anyway, but as you can see, she's the charismatic, uh, uh, full of uh, chemistry and positive uh, state of mind. She's going to be very successful. Um, what do you see moving forward? Um, and we can wrap this up. What do you see her stop uh, moving forward? Where are your um, vision for the next two or three years? Is, do you see yourself expanding more into the Asian markets or going in further into the uh, Latin American markets? Are you um, involved also in, in shows? You're getting involved? Yes, we're uh, getting involved in shows uh, on a global level, of course. We are already quite uh, present in the European market. I mean, that's where we're based, that's, right? That's, your, back, that's your backyard, sense. yeah. Um, we are expanded a lot this last year in, uh, in Asia Pacific. And now, of course, um, there is a lot of focus on North America, Latin America. That's also on a, on a personal opinion. I think that's also where, where the need is. There's opportunities yes. there. Yes, and the, the need is there for products, you know. They are struggling now with AGP replacement. It's not it's not yet a big topic, but if you want to be an exporting market, you need to look into that. It's a challenge. Um, yes. It's a challenge that everybody so in the industry is um, I think it's um, great opportunities for us, but also, you know, we want to be able to help um, producers. So, and that's why I'm saying we want to understand what are really the challenges? What, what do they see when they try to take out antibiotics and how can we help with our solution and improve them even further for I, that specific market? I definitely see a future um, with Perstop and your technology. I, I know it from Brazil that you have years of being in yeah. Brazil. Um, we need to expand that more into the Latin, other Latin American markets. Yeah. But uh, the concept of gut health, and this is where basically you're working yes. at, this is where is most investigations are going on right now. Correct. We're understanding that gut health is the only way with this fast genetic birds that we're dealing with. If we don't handle, look for viable solutions to gut health, we are definitely going to have problems getting those birds to reach its genetic potential. So I think per stop is it's, it's in the right direction. I, you know, I, we are here to, as, as the group and uh, to help you in, uh, in, in any way we can. And we invite you to LPN Miami. We invite all our few, uh, <laughs> viewers to Miami. We'll see you in October. We'll take you out for some Cuban coffee. <laughs> nice. Which we do it. So I know the Italians like Miami <laughs> also. So um, we'll wrap this up. Uh, and uh, it's, it was an honor to have uh, Antonia with Thank us. Thank you for having me. And, uh, best wishes and good luck with Perstop. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs>